Hey everybody, Mezlax Games here. Uh, just starting up a new character, and I'm not really going to be playing through, like, not, not really going to be recording the whole, whole of this character. I just, my other save file got corrupted, as well did my video files, because that just happens a lot to me, and it's very depressing. It's a sad day, really. Um, but what I'm basically going to be doing is, during a tutorial, I'm going to be explaining what I'm going to do. And then I'm not really going to be showing much on this character up until past Sen's Fortress, where I'll record the whole time. Like, it, it's it's as if I was actually playing the game, you know? Um, so you're not really going to be seeing much of this character up until after Sen's Fortress. I will show the parts that need to be shown, like if I get specific items and whatnot. So, uh, you will be seeing that, but... I'm not really sure how much, how many specific items I'm going to need to be grabbing, except for the ones we've already seen. Um, I will show where to get the wolf ring, because I didn't really show a good example of that in my video that I grabbed it in. And I'll also be showing where to get the ring of favor and protection, because um, in my let's play, I skipped out on killing Lotre, and I'm pretty sure you guys know who Lotre is. But yeah, and also how to get the Ring of Favor and Protection. But uh, you, that, yeah, I just thought I'd give you the heads up that that's what I'd be doing. That I'm really only going to be recording the parts that I need to show, like that I do something interesting in, whether it be kill an NPC or get a ring or upgrade armor, or I'm just getting destroyed. No, 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 no. Anyways, um, yeah, so. I'm going to stop recording for now. Uh, first thing I'll be showing is probably directly after Taurus Demon. In the meantime, uh, see that? Okay, so I just beat Taurus Demon. And I'm killing Solar to get his equipment, which I'm going to be using on this character. Mostly. Mostly his equipment. His sword, and perhaps his shield if I use his shield. We'll see. Um, yeah, I aggroed him, and then I realized, wait, I have to record my murdering of Solaire. Oh god. Ooh, that random frame stutter. So, this is an average day of murdering Solaire. And he's fat rolling away. Just into my backstab. Why? You really just fight him like you'd fight any player character. Except he's pro there, so you gotta feel worse about it. Anyways, he drops his humanity, his light straight sword, all of his armor, and the wipe stone stone. So, that gives us our sword we're gonna be using for the playthrough. Does it make us med roll? No, it doesn't. And his shield, which we may use as a replacement for the Baldur shield, because I kinda like his shield. And iron leggings. Nice. Uh, Alright. So, I'll see you when I do the next part. This part I'm recording just because I know a lot of people who struggle with this part, and I figured, uh, any help I can offer, the better, right? So, I never even deal with this anymore. You run straight through. I mean, it leaves you dealing with three hollows afterwards, but, uh, honestly, I'd rather deal with three hollows then one more, so I mean it's a decent trade off really. Plus this one's a crossbow dude, not sure why he chased me all the way down here, but uh he dropped his helm so yeah. Alright, so you wanna get the wolf ring. This is kinda tempted to see just how efficiently we could do this if we ran past everything, because I usually don't like to run past everything in this area. It's a scary thing to do to me, but uh I'll try it just this once. Uh, hmm. It appears stopping to pick that up may have been a bad idea, but, uh, hey. I'm gonna roll with it, yeah. Anyways. Definitely gonna wanna pop this and see if we can rest this bonfire. Uh, we can't. So there's only one here. We did manage to out range the other ones, so that's always 
a blessing to consider. Um, Anyways, um, actually, I think it might be better off if we don't rest at that fire. So let's just continue through. Anyways, over to the left of me is the Elite Knight set. I hate cutting this tree down. It takes too long. And it wiggles. There we go. And these little douchebags pop out of the ground. And these guys, I freaking hate these guys. Like they don't really do very much damage or very have very much HP, but they just irritate me. They pop up for no reason. So take up my precious time, man. Anyways, uh, this tree wiggles in front of the path and traps you if you don't just run past it and jump off the cliff that I'm about to show you. So he's a bit of a douche, but I usually ignore him because I'm a pacifist or something like that. Um... Hmm. I'm just going to continue on past here. And da da, wolf ring. Pretty good ring. And uh, I didn't even jump at all. I totally pressed the A button to jump when it's double tap B. Uh, <laughs> anyways. So I was extremely lucky while I was fight, uh, fighting boulders, and I got a boulder shield, which is the shield I intend to use. So, uh, I'm gonna. I just thought I'd let you know, and next I'm gonna show you where to kick Lotre off once you set him free and also uh, up my Estus Flask to plus two. I just thought I'd show you that I found a Balder Shield because, you know, I got a Balder Shield. It's awesome, so keeping it. Um, I kill all the NPCs here during my playthroughs, so that's just why I'm doing that. If you are morally opposed to that, then uh, just stop watching for a little bit. It's in the middle. Excuse me. Still trying to work off a cold, so that's what that is. Anyways, there's our ring of favor and protection. So we actually have both the rings we're going to be using for this playthrough. Um, 
I believe we can actually level up our endurance now, so let's try that. Endurance, yes, we can level up. Alright, so now let's see if we can put on our bracelets. Nope, that gives us med roll. That's fine. Now, last NPC I'll be killing is Petrus after I join the Covenant and get the achievement. Not the achievement, the yeah, no. thing. Ooh, copper coin. Thank you. Come again. By the Lords, you damn fool. Enough of you. Feel the heat. Anyways. <laughs> so, none of the NPCs here are really all that hard. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep recording. Probably, I won't, I probably won't actually have anything else to record up until in Orlando. So I'll see you then. So I was doing a little bit of research, and for the range and weight trade-off uh, between Broadsword, which is this one, as you can see it's really small, has a rather not fantastic set, um, uh, for one weight less and the same damage as this. This has one weight more, the same damage as a Broadsword, the same Longsword moveset, which is what makes the Longsword so nice, because it's got such a good move set um, for four weight as opposed to three weight and then I compared just the standard longsword which actually is the longest of the three has the same move set a little bit faster actually um, but has 10 10 lower attack rating at plus 15 with 27 strength 40 decks um, if you want pure damage, Broadsword's best for you, because it weighs 3. Um, if you want viability with that max damage, but you're going to sacrifice an extra stone, like an extra weight, you're going to want to run with the Sunlight Straight Sword. Uh, but if you want a combo of both, with the longest range, and in my opinion, the most stylish look, you got to run with the default Longsword. So, um... I'm actually going to run with the default longsword for this build because it actually gives me an extra pound in my build to use composite bow, which uh, is one of my personal favorite weapons. So I'm definitely, uh, definitely going to run with longsword. I uh, thought I'd post a little update.